Yosemite, world's best places to visit. Year after year, millions travel to Yosemite National Park to see natural wonders like Glacier Point and the Half Dome. Hit the hiking trails early in the day to avoid crowds looking for the perfect photo op skip the hotel and camp out for the full experience. One of California's most formidable natural landscapes, Yosemite National Park features nearly 1,200 square miles of sheer awe, towering waterfalls, millennia-old sequoia trees, striking, daunting cliff faces and some of the most unique rock formations in the United States. But despite its enormous size, most of the tourist activity takes place within the 8-square-mile area of Yosemite Valley. Here you'll find the park's most famous landmarks, Half Dome and El Capitan, as well as excellent hiking trails through the natural monuments. Even inexperienced hikers can enjoy Yosemite, guided tours and climbing lessons are available from local adventure outfitters. Just don't expect to experience it by yourself. Like so many other American tourist destinations, crowds are the biggest obstacles to an enjoyable Yosemite vacation, approximately 4 million people visit each year. But if you go at the right time, and start your day a little earlier than usual, Mother Nature's wonders will reveal themselves to you in a miraculous and serene way. What you need to know. It's huge. The park takes up a whopping 750,000 acres. Many visitors often don't realize how long it can take to get from point A to B in the park. From certain entrances, and especially from Yosemite Valley to Tuolumne Meadows, expect about an hour or more in the car. You'll probably stay in Yosemite Valley. Yosemite Valley is where most of the park's top attractions, think Half Dome, El Capitan, Glacier Point, and the Mist Trail, accommodations and amenities are. Summer is really busy. All seasonal closures lift during summer. As such, the park becomes packed. Expect traffic jams, crowded trails and campsites and hotels booked months in advance. If you don't want to deal with this chaos, try visiting late spring or early fall. Start your day early. If you do visit during the summer, park officials say you can beat the crowds in the trails and on the road if you hit attractions before 10 a.m. Bring warm clothes. Even during the summer, nighttime temps can get downright chilly, plunging into the low 50s and high 40s. Bring warm clothes or a coat even if you're visiting during August. Getting around Yosemite. The best way to get around Yosemite is by car. Unless you're taking a private car or public transportation from one of the park's nearby airports, there's no point in ditching your, albeit expensive, rental car and taking Yosemite's shuttles around the park, especially after a long hike. However, during the park's peak travel season, these shuttles will be your friend. Road traffic during the summer is known to cause major delays and trailhead parking lots can fill up fast. If you aren't interested in getting up early to hit popular spots or the trails, which is highly recommended by park officials to avoid crowds, the park's shuttles can save you some serious time. There are a variety of airport options around Yosemite, making the park one of the most convenient to visit in the USA. The closest airport is the Fresno Yosemite International Airport, FAT, which is about 65 miles south of the park, about a one one half hour drive. San Francisco International Airport, San Francisco Airport, Oakland International Airport, Oak, and San Jose International Airport, SJC, are also within driving distance of park. However, know that the drive will be considerably longer, clocking in at more than three hours on the road. Thank <laughs> you.